it's uh, it's a necessity. I have to keep the Crohn's at bay. If I stop the treatment, it's not something that I can just go back on. So anyway, this is something logistically I'm going to have to work out when I get on the Appalachian Trail. And I, I, my my doctor ensures me that you know she is going to uh, work it out. And in my, you know, I can't say enough about Chapel Hill. I love my doctors there. I've been going there since I was 27, 28 when I first got sick and literally my surgeon saved my life. She is in charge of just kind of keeping me maintained and keeping me healthy, whether it be I get iron, um, uh, fluids, a lot of times I'll get fluids. She is, and she's, she's genius. She's just a genius. And so she assures me that we're going to be able to work this out on that much until I, I'm nervous about it because I got to have it and I don't really know how she's going to work it out, but we'll see. It, it, I'll work it out either way. It'll happen. So, um, anyway, let's, uh, let's, uh, get to driving. <laughs> I need to pay attention a little bit more and I'll talk to you guys soon. So, so usually when I'm there, um, I, after I have my infusion, I may go to the aquarium shop and see if they've got any new freshwater shrimp in or interesting plants or if I need any supplies because I don't have access to supplies uh, where I live. We're, we're so remote. There's just no good aquarium stores really uh, close by. So I'll do that and uh, sometimes I'll go to the botanical garden. They have a really nice trail and uh, I, I'm actually a student at the Botanical Garden in their illustration program. And I just like to walk the grounds. It's fun. It's, there's a lot of nature. It's a beautiful place. So that's something to look forward to. There's also an outfitter there in Chapel Hill. And I will go to the outfitter a lot of times if, if there's something I need. If I need to get uh, propane or if I need any uh, little piece of gear, I might go there. Or sometimes I just go to look. And then of course I go get food. Uh, <laughs> food's always a a main draw <laughs> for me. Unfortunately, I may go for uh, sushi, or uh, there's a chipotle, or uh, uh, Japanese, uh, you know, whatever I'm in the mood for. So I kind of save my appetite for something fun. And a lot of times I'll I'll eat in the car on the way home. <laughs> Um, so anyway, those are just little things that keep me kind of, um, it just kind of gives me something to look forward to. I'll tell you guys uh, more later as we get going closer. very hard to find parking. It's a logistical nightmare. So this is so much better, even though it gets pretty crammed in here. So this is a pretty busy little location. All right, guys. Go forward, please. Oh, jeez. No wonder. Buzzard! <laughs> God, they're not scared at all. food truck today. Cool. Mm. 
and get my mask on. Hopefully. A little hard to do it one handed sometimes. With your I don't know. Um, yeah. Doctor Long has, in, you know, assured me that they'll figure something out. Okay. See, well, that's good that she's willing to work with you. Yeah, she is. Out. She's great. So. You can still live life. Today. Yeah. Check all those uh, vitamin levels yes. and. Yep. And so easy for me to get depleted. Mm hmm. Sure. Alright, can you make like a fist for me? He's getting good sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a little hard sometimes. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. They tend to collapse big time. Job. Dang, sorry about the fissure that was Do just you like your, where your yeah, knuckle was. Yeah, I know. It's like. Let's see if we can get blood done. There you go. Good question. <laughs> I wish I could sleep like that. <laughs> mm. Hold your mouth just right. Such a pain. This is how my day is going. No, it's I not. Uh, yeah, it. no, it's me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Seriously, I do this to everybody every time. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. Flushes. Yeah, it feels fine. I can taste it. That's always a good sign. Yeah, that right? is a good sign. Let me see if I can get it now. We know it's in the right spot. If not, we can try it then. Okay. Yeah, if you need to get it somewhere else. I mean, I'm not, I'm not squeamish or any of those things. We're having no luck here. Okay, so now we just wait. Um, you can see the location. We've got a couple of hours. I think guy beside me is getting really good sleep. <laughs> I 
Hey guys, all done. Just got back to the car. Um, let's see what time it is. It's about two o'clock, so I got here at 11. Um, that's about normal for what it takes for the infusion. Uh, they had trouble uh, getting my veins. I'm, I stay dehydrated. So that is really going to be a huge issue on the trail, especially when it starts getting really warm. Because um, I really have trouble staying hydrated and I hate drinking water that I'm really going to struggle with. But anyway, it, it's done. All good. I'm going to go uh, mess around a little bit now uh, that I'm in the big city. This one. pretty much it. Um, not terribly exciting, I, I know, but it is a part of my life and it is something that I'm going to have to deal with while I'm out on the Appalachian Trail. So um, I wanted to put it out there and you know, let people see that there's other people you know, going through stuff like they are, and but they're still you know, going to get out there and and live their life and uh, definitely that's that's my plan and I hope maybe it gives somebody a little bit of encouragement now I am uh, headed home I have uh, like I said earlier it's a two hour drive so I have two hours home and I'm tired the medicine makes me tired I, I, I it's kind of like getting chemo almost but uh, of course chemo is much worse but it does make me tired and does give me a pretty decent headache. So, uh, but I have stopped and gotten an iced coffee and that will print me up a little bit. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, you know, please drop the questions below in the comments. I'd be glad to answer them any way I can. If you have any questions about Crohn's or Remicade and, or infusions or, or anything else, you know, I'll uh, try to answer those. And uh, as always, thank you guys for being such great support. A big hike tomorrow. Um, well, not a not a big hike, but I've got a hike tomorrow that I'm going to video. Uh, it's down in South Carolina, so I'm gonna get home. I'm gonna get some rest. I'm gonna drink a lot of water because I'm really dehydrated. And. Uh, Hopefully I'll feel better to start tomorrow and I'm, I'm actually really excited about it and I'm actually going to be wearing a little, my little day pack I got from REI so I'm excited about that. Anyway, uh, catch you guys real soon and talk to you later. Bye. so this is the following morning it's about seven o'clock and I am in the ER apparently very dehydrated and started having problems last night so just um, this is what I sometimes go through and I'm having abdominal pain and they're giving me fluids